Hello good people of the internet, my name is Andy and you're watching Geek Curio and in today's video we're going to be unboxing the Street Fighter Miniature Games Kickstarter by Jazzco. Hello there and welcome back. So before I start opening the box, just so you know I have actually just broken it open to have a quick peek inside. I haven't actually taken anything out yet because it arrived when I was working today. But before I open it, I will say this is huge. So it's quite a heavy box. It does actually state it's about 10, just over 10 kilos. So I did have to do a little bit of research before I did the video because I backed this back in 2018 and I couldn't remember for the life of me what I had actually ordered. Um, but it, is, it does, did turn out that I ordered the $140 set, which was the base game plus the boss characters plus any unlock stretch goals. So without further ado, let's get this open and have a look. Okay, so as you can see, it looks like either one of these two branded boxes are going to be the core game. So let's get one of those out. And of course, the first one that I got out is actually the boss expansion. So the boss expansion was an additional item and it has two of the boss characters in it. So you've got M. Bison and Akuma, I think it is. So now I know that I've got that, I'm going to move on to what I pretty am sure is the core game. <clears throat> this weighs a ton. So there you go, that is the core game. Now in this you get six characters, and those six, six characters are Ryu and Ken, Zangief, Dalsim, Vega, and of course Chung Li. Now the one thing I was disappointed about was the fact that the characters are actually already painted because it's something that I would have preferred to have done myself. But it's going to be interesting to see how good the paint job actually is because there is a chance I might just dip them in Dettol and try and scrape the paint off and have a go myself. But we'll see. Anyway, I'll put that to one side. So that must mean that the final box is going to be the, <coughs> the bonus pack. Um, well, it's non-branded, but we will have a quick peek inside. Oh, there we go. Stretch goals. So, which is quite nice packaging, actually. It's got a silhouette of all the characters that you got in there. So you can pretty much, some of them are quite easily recognisable. I've got Kami there, E Honda, Balrog. No, sorry, Blanca. Um, and that's Guile. And I'm not too sure who the others are to give a little bit of background on the actual Kickstarter itself. Now I backed it in March or April of 2018. Sorry, we have a little visitor. My dogs decided to join me. Both dogs are joining me. <laughs> okay, so now I backed at $140. Uh, it was a long time ago. And it, like I say, this has only been delivered to us in April, 2021. Now, I'm not going to go too much into a bit of controversy because there was quite a few people who were very disappointed with the Kickstarter. Me, yeah, kind of one of them as well, but that's purely because it just seemed to be taking so long to actually deliver. But I was actually happy. I'm a huge Street Fighter fan. Um, I do actually have a couple of miniatures of Chun-Li which I want to paint. However, I have misplaced them when I did a rearrange of my room a couple of months ago. Um, but let's have a look at this. So we got a rule book which comes in a lovely, almost like a record sleeve shape and sized colour glossy photo. This looks cool. Loads of lovely artwork in there and I'm going to go through the rules a little bit later. We have some markers, counters, tokens. We also have part of the scenery here. Now the scenery, um, it's not going to be molded scenery or anything. It literally is cardboard scenery. So this is what I've seen from the pictures that they've been sharing on the Kickstarter. I'll actually just quickly pop one out. It's a lovely 
cherry blossom tree and it should just be a very simple case of snapping them together like that and I suppose that looks all right I mean it's quite well made actually um, I don't have any issues with that which is quite cool we have more scenery 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 bigger trees scenery and then we get to the actual battle mats now this is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was because whenever I look at the squared maps I was always thinking of the um, Pathfinder maps that a lot of people use for D&D &D. and those ones seem to be about two and a half centimeters 25 millimeters square so this one is a lot bigger I'd say that's probably about two inches square so that gives a good a good indication as to how big the characters are as well so they're going to be a little bit bigger and I have just spotted the characters so first one I'm gonna pull out is Ryu if I can get him out okay so that is a lot bigger than what I expected let's see if I can get okay I'll see if I can pop them on the turntable soon the paint job on that is actually really really good um a lot better than I was expecting and if I'm <laughs> I think most of it is basically the, the plastic is yeah the plastic's colored the right way so a bit debatable whether it's actually painted or not but you can tell there's a some sort of ink has gone on there but um, no, things like the eyes, the teeth, a much better job than what I could do. And even, there's even detailing on the MMA gloves that he wears. That is absolutely brilliant, actually. I'm really happy with that. Um, well, first of all, Jazz Coat, thank you ever so much. That has actually exceeded my expectations massively. I wasn't too sure whether this video was going to be me showing off what I got and then me having a whinge but no it looks brilliant and here is Ken doing the dragon punch hard do Ken Zangief looks absolutely superb as well so even the uh, the scars that he's got on his arms his legs you know it's not like it's just one color plastic in there or anything it literally is I can see the shading in there. No, that these are the quality of the painting is a hell of a lot better than what I thought it would be. So let's have a look at Sagat. I don't know what they're made of either, but they look they're really, really solid. Okay, so we've got two more from the core set. We'll have a look at Vega, who looks absolutely superb. I used to love playing as Vega when we finally managed to get Turbo Edition. Obviously I'm referencing Street Fighter 2 because that's the one that I grew up with. Although I do play Street Fighter 5 nowadays. And lastly, Chun-Li who looks fantastic. Okay, well, these are definitely going on my turntable later so I'm gonna get some videos made. But wow, I am, um, I'm over the moon with that. They really, really are good. So what else have we got? So we've got a, looks like a health meter. And again, that's really well made. I like the fact that it's already put together because these sort of things kind of annoy me. Um, got quite a few of them, six of them in fact. So that's good. And we've also got the cards. So just show you that. One for Sagat. The very beautiful Vega. Let's have a look at Ryu. His best buddy Ken. And of course, 
Interpol's greatest agent, Chun-Li. No, I love the styling. Very anime, manga looking versions as well. So I say I've seen Street Fighter characters drawn, illustrated, painted in so many different styles. But I really like the anime one. Okay, so I am going to stop the video at this point for now. So I'm sure if you're a massive Street Fighter fan, I would, I definitely want to get this cracked open and have a look at a lot more. But for now, I'm just going to stop at the corset. I'm going to stop touching it as well because it's making a lot of noise. I'm going to stop at the corset and have a look at other things. And I'll also put some get videos, some 360 videos of the actual miniatures themselves. I'm absolutely over the moon. Although $140 was a lot of money, I think that was well worth it. Well worth the wait as well. So well done, Jasco. Anyway, thank you for making it this far. If you have enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the thumbs up button. It really helps the channel, channel grow. And if you also want to help the channel grow and you like what I do, why not hit that subscribe button as well and hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So that's all from me. Stay safe and take care.